gather the people, enter the peace. All are invited, the great assemblies. The banquet is ready now to be shared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Around this table we dine as kids, beloved family of God. We share the body of Christ the Lord. Here we become what we eat. Gather the people, enter the feast. All are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Join in In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dumating na po yung araw na pinagkahintay-hintay natin ang kapistahan na minamahal natin si Padre Pio. Alam po natin bukas ang langit pinapagdasal tayo ni Padre Pio lalo na itong panahon ng pandemya si Padre Pio magpapalakas ng kalooban natin na lumapit kay Jesus huwag magalala sa ating buhay bagkus ipagkatiwala natin lahat ang buhay natin pangangailangan sa kamay ng Diyos Beloved brothers and sisters as we celebrate this feast of Padre Pio let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what, what I have done, and what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my mosquitoes fault. Therefore, as the Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Through the intercession of Saint Padre Pio, we give honor and glory to God.
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who by singular grace gave the priest Saint Padre Pio a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Let the sage boast no more of his wisdom, nor the valiant of his valor, nor the rich man of his riches. But if anyone wants to boast, let him boast of this, of understanding and knowing me. For I am the Lord, I rule with mercy, justice, and integrity on earth. Yes, these are what please me. It is the Lord who speaks. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My happiness lies in you alone, O God. My happiness lies in you alone, O God. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. My happiness lies in you alone, O God. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I will keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. My happiness lies in you alone, O God. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, happiness forever. My happiness lies in you alone, O God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. The only thing I can boast about is the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom the world is crucified to me and I to the world. It does not matter if a person is circumcised or not. What matters is for him to become an altogether new creature. Peace and mercy to all who follow this rule who form the Israel of God. I want no more trouble from anybody after this. The marks on my body are those of Jesus. The grace of Lord Jesus be with your spirit, my brothers. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel.
Blessed our Father, Lord of heaven and earth, you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is a great day for all of us. And I was really thinking to spend this day in a very special way. I was even thinking to go to the National Shrine of Padre Pio to experience his presence. But really, God brought me here with you. I thank Father June and the Green Belt Chapel Community, Landmark Chapel Community, for inviting me to celebrate this Mass in honor of the face of our beloved Padre Pio. Padre Pio is known for all of us, the Capuchin monk who bore the marks of the five wounds of Jesus in his body. He was a man like Christ crucified. Like what we have heard in the first reading today, Padre Pio, like St. Paul, could say, May I never boast of anything except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world is crucified to me, and I am crucified to the world. Tatapot malayo na was akin, sabi ni San Pablo, na maaring sabihin din ni Padre Pio, na magpapapu, magmapuri, magmataas, maliban sa krus ng ating Panginoong Su Kristo, na sa pamamagitan ng krus na ito, ang salibutan ay napako sa krus, sa ganang akin, at ako'y namay sa salibutan. Padre Pio was given the crucifixion experience of our Lord Jesus Christ in the five wounds of Christ in the stigmata for the most years of His life. Padre Pio can rightly say the words of Saint Paul, it is I, it is Christ crucified in me, and I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Ako ay nakapako sa krus, nakasama ni Kristo, at hindi na ako nabubuhay, kundi si Kristo ang nabubuhay sa akin, na ang aking buhay ay kinabubuhay ko na ngayon, alang-alang sa palataya. Ang panapalantayang ito sa anak ng Diyos na si Jesus na sa akin umibig, ibinigay niya ang sarili niya sa akin. I live my life for Christ who loved me and gave His life for me out of love. This is Padre Pio. We can say all his life, his apostolic works are centered on the crucified Jesus. He placed Christ crucified as His strength as His wisdom, as His glory. Padre Pio was inflamed by the love of Jesus Christ. And we can really say, He became like Christ in the sacrifice Himself, like Christ. Padre Pio sacrificed Himself for the salvation of the world. He followed, imitated Christ crucified. And we can truly say in Padre Pio, that His bleeding wounds, yung dumudugong, dumudugong sugat, sa dalawang kamay niya, dumudugong sugat sa dalawang paa, dumudugong sugat sa kanyang tagiliran na limang, ta limang pung taon niya talagang pinasan. And those wounds were an experience for Padre Pio 
to share in the passion of Christ, in the suffering of Christ, and to make reparations for our sins. Alam niyo po, si Padre Pio is a great inspiration for all of us, especially in this time of pandemic. Ako po may personal experience kay Padre Pio, but I cannot say it all but to cut it short. When the doctor diagnosed na may aneurysm ako year 2017, and the neurologist told me, Father, you will die anytime. And I told him the extent, Father, I'm sorry. When you were brought here with an ambulance for Baguio, your doctors there told that you have brain hemorrhage or cardiac arrest. And now, with the magnetic resonance imaging, which we repeated twice, we concluded, you have an aneurysm and you would die. Alam niyo si Cardinal Tagle nandun. Ako po umiyak, magulgulo kay Cardinal Tagle. Kalo ko pa naman, strong na yung faith ko, nagdadasal ko araw-araw. Pero that time, magulgulo ko lakas. Sabi ko, Cardinal, Cardinal, dalwag, labing dalawang taong ko tiniis, pinasang ko yung sakit sa puso, tatlo po yung stand ko sa heart. Pagdating ng 2018, another one, apat na po yung angioplasty ko, apat na stand. Tapos nagkaroon pa na aneurysm, mamamatay ako. Pagdating ni Cardinal, humiyaw ako, Cardinal, mamamatay ako, hindi ko na po alam ano gagawin ko. Talaga gulgul po na malakas. In that very moment, I told Jesus, Lord, take me. That was a Thursday. Take me, please take me tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Take me at 3 o'clock. I'm ready to go. Lumagpas po yung 3, umabot ng 12 ng midnight, early morning ng Saturday, buhay pa ako. So I realized, hindi pa ako mamamatay. <laughs> Kasi sabi ko, kunin ako ng Friday 3. Ay, my God. I was sleeping, deep sleep. He came. Gusto ko miyak. He came in his brown Franciscan habit sa Padre Pio. During my sleep, pero ang pakarandam ko, natutulog ba ako gising? Pero tulog ako noon. He came. Sabi sa akin ni Padre Pio, why don't you ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Fatima, she is celebrating this year the 100 years of her apparition at Fatima. It happened 2017. Our Lady appeared 1917. Why don't you ask Our Lady? I was sick. And Our Lady of Fatima came and he, he, she asked her son Jesus to cure me and I was cured. Ask Our Lady, very gentle si Padre Pio, ask Our Lady to ask her son Jesus to cure you. They can cure you. Ako naman, nagpilosopo kay Padre Pio. But Padre Pio, I already told our Blessed Mother, Jesus, that I'm ready to go. Then Padre Pio, a little bit, is scolded me. Not what you want, but what God wants in your life. He disappeared. I woke up crying. Inahanap ko siya, wala na. And I asked Our Lady, still crying, early in the morning, Saturday, Our Lady, through the intercession of Padre Pio, if it is God's will to your intercession, ask your son to cure me. Alam mo, umiiyak ako, nag-rosary ko. Whole Saturday, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, bumalak yung neurologist ko, and my neurologist, to, my neurologist told me, Father, did you remember what we told you last Thursday? Yes, I remember everything about the aneurysm. Father, do you realize we repeated twice yung, uh, yung magnetic resonance, resonance imaging nyo, MIR? And we doctors tried to study the final result of your template. We could not find any more the aneurysm. Hindi po ka makapaniwala. Tinex ko si Cardinal. Cardinal, the doctors asking kung pwede kong uh, scanning of the brain the coming Monday. The Cardinal said, yes. Let them do it to be sure na wala yung aneurysm. The scan of the brain happened and the doctor immediately told me, Father, you can go out of the hospital tomorrow. There is no aneurysm. There is no blockage. On my part, as cardiologist, you are clear. Dumating yung cardiologist ko, Father, you did not have any heart attack. I went out of the hospital, really, umiiyak. Tears of joy. Kaya ngayon si Padre Pio, sasabihin ko sa inyo, strong intercession niya. He was a man of the Eucharist. Whenever he celebrated the Holy Mass, 
Ito yung strength of Father P. He would unite himself with the suffering of Christ. Kaya nga, pag nagmamasya, his mind, his body, his heart was a total offering to God. That's why he celebrated the Mass so solemnly. Kaya nga, the height of Father Pio's activity was the Holy Mass. Kaya nga, napakalaga kay Father Pio ito ginagawa natin ngayon. The Holy Mass was his life. This is his crucifixion, his paradise. Kaya nga, alam niyo ang sinasabi ni Father Pio, he even, he even wrote a letter to, her spirit, to his spiritual daughter, Kulunichi, yung nagbabasa ng autobiography letter si Padre Pio, mababasa niyo to. Sinulat ni Padre Pio, sabi niya, During the celebration of the Mass, I am hanging on the cross together with Jesus. And during the celebration of the Mass, at the consecration, I suffer all that Jesus suffered on Calvary as much as it is possible for a human being. He was a man of prayer. Ito yung sinasabi sa atin, Pray! Hope to that word, prayer. Padre Pio would pass the day and large part of the night in conversation to God. Kahit po nakaupo yan sa confessional box, 18 hours a day, may hawak-hawak yung rosary. Kahit ano gawin ni Padre Pio, palagi may rosary yan. His lips will utter that Pater Noster, Abbe Maria, in conversation with God. Sabi nga niya, in books, we seek God. Hinahanap natin ng Diyos sa pagbabasa, but in prayer, we encounter God. We find God. Prayer is the key with, which opens the heart of God to us. A man of God. Ito po si Padre Pio para bang nauuhaw para sa Panginoon. Sinulat niya sa kanyang letter, My heart feels drawn, but the, but the by higher force each day, I am united with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. I have such a hunger and thirst in rapture with the splendor of the sacred host. Kaya kasi Padre Pio, he really knelt down in adoration. He wrote in a letter addressed to Padre Agustino, his spiritual advisor, I often ask myself if any people exist who do not feel their breast, their heart burning with divine fire, especially when you are in front of the Blessed Sacrament. That's why Padre Pio would spend hours and hours in prayer. He was a man of suffering. Kaya nga po si Padre Pio, nagkasakit ako. Ang pagrandam ko, tinulungan niya ako. Kasi alam niya, hindi ko kaya. Alam ni Padre Pio, I am already entering into depression. Yung po karanasan ko noong 2017, I really entered into depression that I asked God to take my life. Hindi ko na po kaya. Panginoon, hindi ko na po kaya. I have entered into that. That's why Padre Pio came. That's why, because Padre Pio in his life, he understood very early in his life that his life would be the way of the cross. He accepted his life of the cross at once with courage, embraced Christ, crucified with joy for many years. Padre Pio experienced that spiritual suffering. He endured the pains, the wounds. Padre Pio suffered so much through so many investigations restrictions na ginawa sa kanya ng simbahan. Alam niyo po ito, hindi siya pinagbisa, hindi siya pinagpakumpisal. Kinulong siya sa convent, sa taas ng convent. He could not receive any visitors. He could not even see his prayer group, community. And Padre Pio accepted everything with humility and resignation. Ito po maganda kay Padre Pio. Padre Pio remained silent to suffer in silence in the face of so many false accusations and calumnies uttered against him. He only trusted in God. Nagtiwala sa sa Panginoon. Kaya sabi ni Padre Pio, hope, hope. He and he have habitually practiced mortification to die to himself following the example of St. Francis of Assisi. Kaya nga makikita natin yung kahirapan ng pinag pinagdaanan ni Padre Pio and we can tell the greatest suffering of Padre Pio was his tremendous health problem. Hindi po malakas ang katawan niya. Do you know, when he was still nine years old, yung health ni Padre Pio nagsimula na mag-worsen. That's why when he entered the Capuchin Order, Padre Pio is to remain separated from the communities for five years before because of his health condition. Nasa community na siya, pero hinihiwalay siya. In fact, baka magulat kayo sa sabihin ko sa inyo, during the pandemic of 1918-1920, nagkaroon din po siya ng pandemya. 
nagkasakit siya na epidemic siya. Nagkaroon siya ng cholera. He could not breathe. Pero nakasurvive siya ng pandemic no 1918 to 1920 because according to him, he prayed his strong faith, his devotion to the Virgin Mary saved him. Kaya nga, Padre Pio is a man of sacrifice. Lahat po in-offer niya, kaya nga sa atin, if we have so many sufferings and sacrifices in our life, offer it to Jesus for an intention. Yun ang ginawa ni Padre Pio, in-offer niya yung paghihirap niya sa pagbabalik loob ng mga makasalanan upang iligtas ang mga tao na mahulog sa apoy na impyerno, upang mga tao na nasa impurgatorio na hanguin niya dalin sa kalangitan. He was a man of love. Ito po kay Padre Pio. He was, he was filled with the love of God and neighbor. Ito po yung vocation niya to save souls. Kaya nga, special mission niya. Kaya nga, nakikita natin, he did this love, faithful, spiritual direction of the faithful coming to him in confession, sacramental reconciliation, and he saved souls during the celebration of the Mass. Kaya nga, ito po si Padre Pio. He committed himself to the pains and sufferings of so many families. Awang-awa po si Padre Pio, marami nagkakasakit. Kaya nga nagtayo pa siya ng sariling hospital. If you go to San Giovanni Rotondo, you will see this very huge hospital. Napakalaking hospital po. Wala kayong makikita ganun kalaking hospital dito sa Pilipinas. It is a hospital built itself by Padre Pio called Hospital House for the Relief of Those Sufferings. The love of God in neighbor filled him. He was a man of pastoral charity. Ito po, countless people will come to him. Padre Pio, in kindle faith, dispense grace. He brought light and he recognized the face of Christ in the suffering in the poor. Yan po naging buhay ni Padre Pio. Ngayon, let's go to this. Di ba palagi natin narinig, pray, hope, do not worry. Ang kahulugan yun, faith. Kasi kung mahina na kalooban yun, hindi ka nalalaban. Especially in this time of pandemic, lumaban tayo. Meaning, faith was life. Our life is faith. Ang buhay natin, lagyan natin pala ng palataya, pananalig, that depression will never enter. Nurture your mental health by your deep union with God. Palalimin nyo inyong pakipag-ugnayan kay Kristo. Manalig lalo tayo kay Kristo. Magtiwala lalo tayo kay Kristo. And Padre Pio did it. He willed everything in the light of faith. He did everything with faith. He devoted himself to prayer. And he did God's will kahit na mahirap. He was a man of hope. Diba sabi niya, pray hope. Umasa tayo. Put your trust in God. Worry is useless. Don't allow worries and anxieties to sink down into you. Nung nagkasakit po ako, really worried entered me. Hindi ko talaga alam. Nandun na pala. Depression entered me. Nang dumating si Cardinal Tadley, doon ko nilabas talaga. Yung talagang umiiyak ako, hindi ko alam. I was already depressed. Gusto ko na mamatay. Biro mo, anurisi, mamamatay ka anytime. Eh, ano pa hinihintay? And that Padre Pio was telling us, worry is useless. God is merciful. God hears your prayers. Yan po um, si Padre Pio. Kaya nga, he is the image of someone who, who, who hope in God, who hope and trusted in God. Padre Pio, hope in God, live in hard times. Mas mahirap po pinagdaanan ni Padre Pio in kahit na any human beings of kaparian. Did you know that he lived during World War I, 1914 to 1918? Nabuhay na siya. He lived during World War II, 1939 sa Europe until 1941. Dalawang gera at napadala pa siya sa gera. In pa panahon ni Padre Pio, he lived in pandemic times. Pinaliwanan na natin kanina, 1918 to 1920, Spanish flu. In Padre Pio, live in hard times. Sabi nga natin kanina, persecuted at all times, misunderstood, and at times accused as possessed. Sinasapian ng demonyo. And this is Padre Pio. His secret was his devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. He loved the Virgin Mary as a son loves hopes a mother. And Padre Pio brings it sa kanyang, sa kanyang palagi niyang sinasabi, Jesus, the Son of God, became man through Mary. And it is through Mary that we go to Jesus. At yes, um, per Mariam. Kaya nga Padre Pio, we must consecrate ourselves to Mary and the more we'll be consecrated to Christ. Again, going back to the challenge of Padre Pio, pray hope, 
Do not worry. Walk humbly with your God. Choose God above all in your life. Talaga yun ang buhay natin. Pray, hope, do not worry. And this is what Padre Pio is asking us. Pray without interruption. Prayer, sabi ni Padre Pio, in prayer, our soul must be completely lost in God, to be in love with God, sabi ni Padre Pio. And the more we pray, the more our faith grows in God. Kaya kinakailangan natin magdasal para lalong lumago ang ating paninampalataya sa Diyos. Sabi ni Padre Pio, children, do not neglect prayer. Children, sabi ni Padre Pio, pray often during the day. Children, do a little bit of meditation and you will find God. In prayer, you will see God. That's why may we end this with the note of Padre Pio. Prayer is the best weapon we have. Lalo na po itong panahon ng pandemya. Ang panglaban natin dasal, huwag po tayo bibigay sa panalangin. Pray with love. Pray with the, your faith. Pray with the heart. Sab and close to Padre Pio, we open our soul to our Lord and we speak confidently with the Lord. We remain united with the Lord. And in the school of Padre Pio, we learn to pray, to hope, and not to be worried. Remember, pray more, pray hard, pray better. Hope, hope more, hope for the better. Trust in God and do not worry. Trust in God's divine providence. Do not be overcome by all sorts of worries in this life, uncertainties. Huwag kayong magpadaig sa anumang kaalalahanin sa buhay na ito. Pray, hope, do not worry. We pray to Padre Pio today. Padre Pio is the modern saint of the 20th, 21st century. A model of prayer, a model of hope, a model of faith, a model of love, a model of sacrifice, a model of in every time, in every suffering we have in these pandemic times, let Padre Pio lead us to Jesus Christ crucified and love Jesus Christ crucified in our life. I will end with the words of Pope Paul VI. Sabi po ni Pope Paul VI, Alam nyo, wag kayo magugulat sa kwento ko ha. Do you know Pope John the Twenty-third? He is already Saint John the Twenty-third. He did not approve Padre Pio because of so long story, upper, uh, hindi niya in-approve. Kaya nga, he suppressed Padre Pio. Pero Pope Paul VI who succeeded, John, St. John the 23rd believed in Padre Pio. Noong namatay po si Padre Pio noong 1968, si Pope Paul VI sumulat na napakagandang sulat sa mga kapuchin. Ito po sabi ni Pope Paul VI, 1971, Look what fame Padre Pio had. What a worldwide following he gathered around him. Why? Perhaps he was a philosopher. Is it because he was wise? Or because he had a lot of resources at his disposal? No. Padre Pio was worldwide famous because he said the Mass humbly, He heard confession from dawn to dust, and it was not easy to say he was the one who bore the wounds of our Lord. He was a man of prayer, a man of suffering, and above all, a man of God. Padre Pio, pray for us. Blessed are you, prayers of the faithful, please stand. Blessed are you, loving Father, for giving us Saint Padre Pio of Petrochina, who showed us the path of holiness and discipleship, pray, hope, and do not worry, was his constant reminder. And so, with confidence and trust, we now lift up to you our petitions and needs as we say, Gracious God, hear us. Gracious God, hear us. Father, you gave, you gave us St. Pio Petrachina, zealous pastor of the church. We pray for our church leaders that they may discern the signs of the times 
and respond with pastoral charity to build up God's people. We also pray for more priestly and religious vocations in the church. Let us pray. Gracious, Gracious God, God, hear us. Father, you gave us Saint Pio of Petrachina, sentinel of righteousness and peace. We pray for our government leaders that they may truly serve the common good with integrity and selflessness and that the poor and neglected be always in their minds. May they be in this time of crisis, create concrete steps in managing it. Let us pray. Gracious God, hear us. Father, you gave us Saint Pio of Petrachina, healer of soul and body. We pray that our society may always recognize the primacy and beauty of life, assist the sick, especially those who are suffering from COVID-19 and suffering especially in this time of pandemic, refrain from discriminating those who have been infected with COVID, especially our frontliners, and together we may build a civilization of life and love. Let us pray. Gracious, Gracious God, God, hear us. Father, you gave us Saint Pio of Petrachina, Apostle of Mercy and Penance, we pray for all those in need of conversion and peace, those seeking guidance and direction, and those who need to return to the Lord's forgiving embrace, especially through the sacrament of confession. Let us pray. Gracious, Gracious God, God, hear us. Father, you gave us Saint Pio of Petrachina, an inspiration to those who bear the cross of Christ, we pray that we may carry our crosses with fidelity and love, trust in the Lord's providence and victory, and discover the authentic joy and fulfillment offered by Jesus, our crucified and risen Savior. Let us pray. Gracious, Gracious God, God, hear us. For an end to this pandemic, that the sick be healed, especially our beloved Archbishop Jose, that those who care for them be strengthened and help us all to persevere in faith and charity. Let us pray. Gracious God, hear us. Let us pray and now entrust to the Lord our needs and intentions. Let us pray. Gracious God, hear us. Father, in our voices, hear the voice of Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd, in whom St. Padre Pio Petrucina served with much faith, hope, and love. Through his benevolent intercession, hear our supplications and grant us the fullness of your salvation who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us now share our love offerings as we continue with the liturgy of the Eucharist.
your generosity. Please stand. Pray to the intercession of Padre Pio that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Pio, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, so great was the fire of love that burned in the heart of Saint Padre Pio that he shared in Christ's passion and followed Jesus ever to the cross to his suffering brothers and sisters afflicted in soul and body he displayed God's endless mercy and so we join the angels and saints in an ending hymn of praise as we now sing Who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and enter willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have built us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Padre Pio, St. John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray, hope, and do not worry. With confidence, trust in the love of God for us, we now pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I live with you, my own peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, O Lord, but look on the faith of your church and graciously grant us your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace, the hope, and the love of God be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Thank you. 
Behold Jesus who died for us out of love. Behold Him, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please all kneel and let us pray to Yerasha Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. 
restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to ask to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. Make us who have been nourished by the sacred meal, Almighty God, always follow the example of blessed Padre Pio in serving you with constant devotion and assisting all with untiring charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while. And happy fiesta po sa ating lahat. Palakpakan natin si Padre Pio. And uh, thank you for coming over and joining us in our fiesta celebration. And we praise and thank the Lord for the good weather and for allowing us to gather physically to celebrate the fiesta of Padre Pio. And we thank our presider in our fiesta mass, at uh, damang-dama po natin yung kanyang sharing and life testimony and how Padre Pio has really been also very instrumental in his life. And that is why, no wonder, he will never get tired of proclaiming the powerful intercession and the shining example of Padre Pio. Kaya palapakan natin si Father Yulito Ignacio. Thank you, Father Yul. You can go back to our uh, Facebook page at Greenbelt Chapel and Mark Chapel and Villa San Miguel last Saturday. He gave a very exhaustive talk. No? If I'm not mistaken, four hours yun, no? Talagang kumpletong kumpleto tungkol kay Padre Pio. So you could celebrate the fiesta of Padre Pio by recalling really his life and times. Padre Pio has been a uh, very much a part of Father Yul's life. Kaya, kilalang kilal ni Father Yul. So, go back to that uh, testimony and conference on Padre Pio. And uh, we'll have another Mass later at 5.30 in the afternoon. And uh, later on, you could first have your lunch. We will first disinfect the place. Magla-lunch din naman po muna yung ating mga staff. So perhaps most probably by before by two o'clock, we will have the public veneration of the relics of Padre Pio, his blood-stained handkerchief from San Giovanni. So we will have it here until uh, just before the uh, around five o'clock, five o'clock before the mass later on. So you could come back and pray, and uh, we cannot touch the relic, but we could at least pray before the relic and meditate just like what Padre Pio has been doing in silent contemplation. 
And uh, later on, uh, we will have some giveaways. No? Uh, meron po yung parang dispenser po ng may Padre Pio and uh, some uh, devotees share their blessing. May konti pong uh, uh, pagkain. Pero pasensya po kung hindi, I never expected marami po tayo ngayon. So, uh, we may not be able to serve everyone but uh, we could share our blessings and uh, those who uh, pag hindi po natapat sa inyo, pasensya po. And dumami din po kasi mamaya po, we will have our assistance to the security, the maintenance, and the parking personnel of Greenbelt and Glorieta. At uh, dumami din po yung lista nila, kaya kahit yung sa mga dispenser and other giveaways, I hope you don't mind unahin po natin din sila. No? Kaya kung hindi po magkakasya, lalo na yung ating dispenser, kasi nga po, mas ibibigay po natin dun sa mga security, maintenance, and parking personnel. I'm sure Padre Pio uh, will be very happy if you will share that also with them. So pagdamutan po natin kung ano po ang meron. And as I said before, let us celebrate this feast not only liturgically, but in charity. No, nabanggit ni Father yung hospital. So Padre Pio is not just a man of prayer, but a man of mercy and charity. So let our devotion be translated to mercy and charity. So maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo. And we continue to pray for each other. We continue to, to imitate the virtues of Padre Pio, especially during this time of pandemic, so that like Padre Pio, we may also experience the grace, the consolation, and the power of the crucified but risen Lord. Muli po, happy fiesta sa ating lahat. Palakpakan uli natin si Padre Pio. Please stand. So through the intercession of Padre Pio, we really bring home yung sinabi ni Padre Pio sa atin na pray hope, do not worry. Lalo na itong panahon ng pandemic, no room for depression na maranasan ko, di ba? No room for hopelessness, despair, doubt, wag, faith, hope, pray, trust in God. God loves us. Ah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May I ask Padre June also to bless you. May God, the, the glory and joy of the saints, who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with an ending blessings. Amen. 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 Freed through the intercession of Padre Pio from present ills, anxieties, formed by the example of his holy way of life, may you ever be devoted to serving God and your neighbor. Amen. Amen. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where the Holy Church rejoices that her children are meted in perpetual, perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. And through the intercession of Padre Pio, may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended with Padre Pio. Let us go, pray, hope, and do not worry. Thanks be. Viva Padre Pio! Viva! Sampaling kay Kristo Itubos na nagpahal Tanda ni Jesus Ay namala sa Kanya Ang stigmata Limampung taon niya Pinala Di alinta na Ang sakit at panghihina Buhay ilaan sa pagkalinga sa kapwa Siya'y nakilala sa pulisal at pagmimisa Pagkat sa Kanya ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay nalaman 
Sa mabuting halimbawa, ang malalangin o masa at huwag mangamba, ang lagi mo palaala. Padre Pio ng Pietrel, China, tulungan mo kami sa hirap at dusa. Maging gabay sa aming pagsika na gawing kaaya-aya ang buhay na sa ating Diyos Ama. O Padre Pio ng Pietrel, China, salamat sa mabuting halimbawa ang manalangin o masa at huwag magamba. Ang lagi mo palaala, Padre Pio ng Pietrel, China. Tulungan mo kami sa hirap at dusa, maging gabay sa aming pagsika, na gawin kaya-aya ang buhay na sa ating Diyos Ama. Ipanalangin 